This is one of the toughest GMAT questions ever. If we're going to have any chance to solve this, though, we're going to have to rewrite these numbers in a more uh, GMAT-friendly manner. The uh, first number there on the top of the left term is clearly very, very, very close to 1. It's just slightly below 1. So we'll rephrase that as 1 minus whatever it is we need to minus to get to, what is that, 0 0.999999999, the eight nines there. So how far below 1 is that number? Uh, it would be 1 over 100 million, so 10 to the power of negative 8. Alright, so let's rephrase that numerator as 1 minus 10 to the power of negative 8. And similarly, we'll rephrase the denominator for that first term as 1 plus 10 to the power of negative 4. Let's run the intro and maybe you can pause the video here and try to do the same thing for the second term. So for the second term, what, what you'll end up with in the numerator is 1 minus 9 times 10 to the power of negative 8 over 1 plus 3 times 10 to the negative 4. Now this is probably as far as a lot of people will get. I mean, even this is already quite advanced. But we have to go even further than that. We need to recognize that if you square 10 to the power of negative 4, you get 10 to the power of negative 8. And if you square 3 times 10 to the negative 4, you get 9 times 10 to the negative 8. So that might trigger something for us, because we can rewrite the numerator of the first term using the special product a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. Uh, so using that, we can rewrite the numerator of the first term as 1 minus 10 to the power of negative 4 times 1 plus 10 to the negative 4. Because indeed, if you use the special product on that, you'd get 1 minus 10 to the power of negative 8. Applying that same trick to the numerator of the second term, there you'd have 1 minus 3 times 10 to the power of negative 4 times 1 plus 3 times 10 to the negative 4. And the reason we were motivated to do all of that is that now we can reduce the denominators with uh, their respective numerators. And what we'll end up with for the first term is 1 minus 10 to the power of negative 4, and in the second term we'll have 1 minus 3 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Now remembering that minus minus turns us into plus, in the end of the day we just have negative 10 to the negative 4 plus 3 times 10 to the negative 4, which is 2 times 10 to the negative 4, and that's the correct answer. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.